Those of whom, I don't know how many of you are familiar with this brand called India Coffee House. See, these are outlets that you used to go and drink coffee in. But India Coffee House focused on coffee. Today it's Cafe Coffee Day. Because it's not only coffee, it's the ambience. It's, you can have your samosa, you can have your sandwich, and you can have different varieties of coffee. I think the precursor of Cafe Coffee Day was India Coffee House, which was certainly not so successful a business mission. And Cafe Coffee Day would be far more successful. But the fact remains that in both these cases of Kerry Packer or India Coffee House, the innovation started somewhere. The success of that innovation or transition of that to a level of excellence came in elsewhere. Now, having spoken about the world, I think it's important for me to uh, tell you what we do. Uh, in take, we are still in our quest for excellence and still in, uh, still in our infancy in the journey of excellence. There are numerous technology companies in the world and many in India have done things much better and much larger than what we have done. But I take our model of excellence is not only related to our business results, which have been good, but our model of excellence is related to entrepreneurship. We are in the path and striving for excellence in entrepreneurship, and that in itself is a very different way. How do we do it? First, we are present across a number of countries. And in each of these countries, we believe in nurturing local entrepreneurship. We, it is with a reason that we embarked on this. When we were a very small organization, and just the 15, 20 of us were around, everyone knew what was happening. And there was a very great sense of bonding that was there between members of the organization. As we grew larger, the teams had to spread out. And this bonding but natural cannot come when you are geographically separated, even though you may have opportunities to converse very, very frequently. In such a situation, normally organizations try to transition. But what do large organizations have? They have branding. So an IBM or an Infosys, there is a branding that keeps that organization together. Organizations such as us, which transition, are going through this phase between bonding and branding. And that is a very, very difficult phase for organization transitioning. We chose our own response to this and we said that this would be addressed by entrepreneurship. So at every level, be it the vertical, or at every geography, be it US or Middle East or Malaysia, we have chosen a model of entrepreneurship where we will give the local partner the ability to take calls that don't necessarily have to be referred to the corporate office. This is a very unique way in which we are trying to pursue our organization building. So our path to organization excellence, corporate excellence, is through this unique experiment in entrepreneurship. The second thing that we do in this unique experiment is that unlike other technology organizations, we are actually majority of our people are not Indians. 55% of the company is not of Indian origin. And that is very different from most technology organizations that you have, would have seen coming out of India. So in our entrepreneurship, there is another twist where we say that it would not only be entrepreneurship, but it would have a flavor that is multicultural. And that adds another dimension of complexity to it. And third and most importantly, this is a first-generation entrepreneurship company. About 20 of us, including me, started this organization together. But in this generation, we are trying to transition the entrepreneurship 
from us to others. I cannot think of this attempt being pursued. Normally, first generation entrepreneurs are very hands on and they like to hold on till a fairly late stage. We are still only eight years old. We have already begun and in many places completed the process of transition to another level of leaders or entrepreneurs in the organization. And in that quest, we of course have a lot of partners. We have KPMG, we have ASAP, and we have all the 800 employees of TAKE who are participating in this unique journey. Last but not the least, I would just like to conclude by saying that at TAKE, we dream larger than others think is possible. We expect much more than others think is possible. We take more risks than others think is safe. And most importantly, we trust and care much more than others think is wise. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.